Mm, that's tight. I'm not used to that from Blackstar. What the fuck? <laughs> How much did you say this goes for again? That's it? Congratulations, Blackstar. That sounds great. Hello, my name is Mendel and I proved this amp. Hi there. My name is Perfecto de Castro. Christian Cola. Mendel Baitlai. Hunter. Colin from CS Guitars. Hale from Shipyard Tone. Andrew Bena. Klenar Chirku. Band Kills. I'm at 42 Gear Street. Somebody dragged me into this room, gave me this beautiful, very evil looking 28 inch baritone guitar. I'm here with Blackstar today, and they've said that this thing makes loud noises, and I like that, so we're gonna see how it is. So I'm taking this with me, just so you know, guys. <laughs> I love about it is it's crunchy and clear, but really, really clear. Like it's not muddy. And most of the time when distortion is really present, when I'm past the 12th fret on lower thicker string, I'm a happy person. There's one thing somebody told me that I should try out this knob here, which is the ISF. And it's unique to Blackstar amps, where here you have like an American kind of sound, and here you have like a British kind of sound. And for the ACDC like stuff, probably should go to the British side. <laughs> That's really working. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the American side. Yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, you can hear it's like a typical uh, vintage American amp brand. It really sounds like that. And here it's like the typical British amp brand. You can blend between them, which is which is crazy. Maybe I don't want to go all British. I just want like 70% British, like this. So it's like mixing two amps. Very nice. Yeah, this amp has a lot of great sounds. So I, I must say I'm really impressed of this amp. Maybe I, I, I have to get one. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's always bad coming to Gear Street because I end up with a lot more stuff in my little studio and uh, yeah, I, first of all problems. I'm going to play an 8-string through the brand new amp from Blackstar because nobody else here is going to put it through an 8-string so I figured I had to, you know what I mean? <laughs> You set me up with a good tone to start. I like that. That's sick. It's always about like, what does that low bah sound like? And that sounds really good. I like that a lot. And this is, uh, this, I heard, overheard someone else saying, this has like the cab rig and all that too. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, that was one of my favorite features of the St. James 606. Yeah, so it's an interface as well. Yeah. yeah, nice. So if you don't have an interface, you you don't need one. Yeah, it sounds awesome. This, this one, this is my this is my favorite sound ever. <laughs> It's 
clear. You can hear all the notes and I just love it. I will just play this chord forever. And I know that the big news is on the back of the amps because uh, there is the cab rig and it's amazing. So I know the Black Star tones, I love it. And uh, I had the Mark II and now I definitely need the Mark III. Yeah, of course. J just to do this all the time at home. <laughs> That's tight. That is really tight. That is really gorgeous. Ah, uh, wow, 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 wow. What to say about that? It, it's got more than enough volume, more than enough power. The distortion is really, really bitey. I've always really liked the Black Star stuff that I've heard live when bands are playing it because it tends to be, it tends to be when I'm watching a band that I hear a sound and go, God, that distortion is really, really good. It ends up being a Black Star. And if it's anything like this, that that is absolutely the reason. I want to go back to OD1. I want to push that all the way up. Um, let's let's push that here. More meds. We'll just chug out. Just buy one. Just, just, it sounds good! It's nice and chunky. That's like nice and bitey. That's really nice and bitey. I'm not used to that from Black Star. What the fuck? <laughs> That's cool, man. I play the sound right now and to me I just played a clean sound and I think it's a very responsive sound that I could see a lot of people use for live situations. I really really like the clean sound of this amp but as you can see from the layout of the knobs it can do more than clean. It's a good kind of old metal, kind of 80s, 90s metal kind of tone. Or I can change the voice and uh, have it shout at me. It's got the bark to it. What I like about Blackstar is they always give you two override channels, OD1 and OD2, and I think it even comes with two different voicings. So right now we are on OD2. Which is the most modern and brutal sounding. And this. It's 
is OD1, which sounds a lot warmer, fuller, more vocal. Cool, man. I think it's great the, the way it changed from super clean sound, but it has the dynamics. You can go roll your bone down. It still has the tone of the clean. Congratulations, Black Star. I'm I'm more of a voice one guy for all of the channels except for the clean I like the I like with it, I like it with it on and it's very comfortable under the fingers you know um, it reminds me of my first HT but it's like pumped up. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mendel, and I proved this amp. How much did you say this goes for again? Nine nine nine. That's it. 